UATV has been covering the festivities taking place in the town of Uman, where tens of thousands of Jews come every fall for the celebration of Rosh Hashanah, or the New Year. But why do masses of people from Israel, the U.S., and elsewhere go to a normally sleepy town in central Ukraine? The answer lies in an 18th century mystic named Rabbi Nachman of Breslov. Rabbi Nachman was born in 1772 in the western Ukrainian town of Mezhibizh, then part of the Polish Commonwealth and a center of the populist and mystical Hasidic movement, a controversial and eccentric figure and great-grandson of the founder of Hasidicism, the Baal Shem Tov. Nachman drew large numbers of followers with his teachings about the central importance that joy plays in life. He opposed the system of religious authority being passed down through dynasties and called on his followers to find God in the extremes of both solitary meditation and ecstatic song and dance. When he eventually became old and ill in 1810, he decided to be buried somewhere important. Uman was the site of a brutal massacre of thousands of Jews, Poles, and Ukrainian Catholics by the Cossacks under Zaliznyak and Ivan Ganta in the Haidemak Rebellion of 1768. The rebellion against the tyranny of the Polish nobility turned into little more than slaughter. The Rebbe chose to be buried with the martyrs. But before his death, he asked his followers to come to his tomb for Rosh Hashanah, saying it would aid them in their spiritual penance. And so, for over 200 years, they have done so. Even during the Soviet era, small numbers of Breslov or Hasidim risked the Gulag and firing squad to be with the Rebbe. The only time they came to a stop was during the Holocaust. Then, finally, the Soviet system fell apart and Uman once again became open. First hundreds came, then thousands, then tens of thousands. The spark of Jewish life that once existed in Uman before the horror of the 20th century was rekindled around the grave of Rabbi Nachman. And for around a week every Jewish New Year, it becomes a focal point for Jewish spiritual life. Shana Tova, have a sweet year 5779.